Hey, this is Robot here, Vespa Motorsport, ScooterWest.com. Today I'm going to show you how to pull the glove box off on your Sprint or Primavera. It's pretty tricky and daunting if you've never done it before. Uh, there's some brute force that goes into it, and you're going to need T30 Torexes of different sorts, and I'll show you how that works. Uh, pretty important to get in there if you ever want to do some upgrades, any type of fork service, or I don't know. Maybe you just want to go in there and look in there and see what's behind the glove box. Well, I'll show you how to do it. So we'll jump into opening the glove box. All right, let's jump into pulling this glove box off. Maybe ripping it off. After you see how it's done, it looks like you're going to be ripping it off. Um, you want to pop the glove box open. This is a Primavera on a Sprint. There's going to be a lot more uh, goodies or whatever you want to call it, stuff going on on the right side. And it's got a slightly different cover and you'll need a T25 Torx to take that little cover off. First, you want to start with removing these two black caps on the Primavera. In the Sprint, there's only one of these things. And they have a pull tab, and you'll see on the other side, they just pull right off. They're like rubber caps to gain access to the turn signal bulbs if you had the European model. They don't really do anything for the US ones unless you're putting our uh, European conversion kit on, of course, then you could get to the bulb if you needed to with these. But behind these two covers, there's gonna be screws that we need to gain access to. And I have my power driver here with a T30. You could just use a regular uh, T30 hand driver. Um, you can find the, the fastener that's back there. Big thing is you don't want to lose this fastener. So, so what I'm going to do is unscrew it and I have my finger in there and hold that on there. You can magnetize the tip. You can put a little grease on the tip to hold it. There's other ways to hold the screw in place, but you, know, you can see it's got a little magnetism. If I just actually, I put my hand in there and just held it. So I got a more of a traditional style T30 Torx driver. Get it right in that middle one. And after you get this right side one out, um, there's two uh, really exciting ones to remove. And they are located in these little wells both on the left and the right side here. So I got a bit, this is like a T30 uh, quarter drive bit. And you can kind of find your way around. I do have a power ratchet that I use. I might've used it in one of the other videos, but I'm gonna show how to do it without that power ratchet. So I kind of have it in the, um, in the um, engage and there you go. So that's how you go about removing that one, or both those lower fasteners. Once I got started, went ahead and pulled it out. And it's in there, you can retrieve it with a magnet if you like, um, or you can just leave it in there, you know, however you wanna get it out. It will fall out when you pull the glove box off. So I get the, the last fastener off and we'll show you the next step. All right, so you got all five fa fasteners out. Um, you kind of want to protect the bottom of this glove box because it's going to want to uh, rub on the, uh, the plastic of your floorboard. Usually I just use a rag and that's good enough to rest the, uh, the um, glove box assembly on. Another way to go about it is, you know, have some masking tape handy and tape it right at the seam here. You know, and it's just, just to be safe. You know, don't want to be chipping a brand new paint finish not sticking all that well to this paint because it's probably waxed or something, but it's something there, kind of just prevent it, hold the rag in place. And now here comes the fun part. Uh, you see all the screws are out, but this glove box is on here quite tight. And pretty much I just put my hands in these, these holes and pull it straight out. And it, there's, I think there's six different clips. You want to pull straight, straight out. So this side's out and you can get your hand in here and pull straight out. You hear that little noise? That was one of those clips that just dropped into here. Before I even get the glove box off, that's what that clip looks like. And there's six of those. Um, if you lose the clips in the frames, it's not the end of the world if you lose one down there. It's not gonna do anything. Just sit down there, 
You could take the whole floorboard apart or try to retrieve it with a magnet. Um, the other thing is they don't cost hardly anything. We have those available. I don't quite remember the part numbers, like 1A with a whole bunch of numbers, real long part number. Uh, we'll tag it in the video. But pretty much the rest of the glove box is retained with these clips. So once you, you know, go past all those clips, it's going to want to pull away. I'll go ahead and latch the glove box for a second. Make sure you don't drag this upper part, you know, from the, um, across the bottom of the thing. First thing you got to disconnect is this electro connector. Only found on the 150s and 125s, it's the, the seat pop connector. Next thing, it, it popped out on its own, but there's a fuse holder here. And this little tab right here, I don't know if you can see it. They don't all, always hold all that well, but it retains it. And if you just get your finger under it, it will release the fuse holder. So there's the fuse holder bobbing around. And on the uh, sprints, there's also gonna be a relay attached to it, the headlight relay actually. Um, and you could go ahead and disconnect that with the one screw. Last thing you have connected, and oftentimes I don't bother disconnecting this if I don't need to pull the glove box away. This is your mechanical seat pop cable. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open the glove box again. And since I closed it, you could just access this little tab right here and click that and it will pop the glove box right open. So the get rid of the remove this, you could see there's a little cable in there. You'll need a little uh, needle nose to pull the cable out and dislocate that cable from this lever here and pull it from the, the um, pull the cable out very carefully. Like I said, it's, it's, this is probably the most difficult part of um, the remove from this glove box. I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. It's not gonna be, um, you know, affect anything. And I can keep the glove box pretty close to the scooter when I'm gonna do the next things I'm gonna do for this project here. All right, that concludes removing the glove box on the scooter. You need to do that, say if you wanna get the, the floorboard off, um, change out the starter relay, which is located under a floorboard. You need to start with removing the glove box, then you can remove the floorboard. It's a fastener under here. I found right where it was. Uh, fasteners under here and some rear fasteners underneath these foot pegs, and then you can pull the floorboard off if you, if you need to go that far. I'm not gonna show how to do it, but pretty much if you get the glove box off, the floorboard's like a uh, walk in the park. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Signing out, this is Robot here, Vespa Motorsport. See you next time.